I'm going to mount another GoPro inside a car tire again, but this time with balance beads, which are supposed to automatically balance the tire out. Take my tires, for instance. As you can see, they're in great shape, but what if I'm driving and some of these pieces of rubber break off the tire? I mean, naturally, my tire is going to go out of balance, and theoretically, the balance beads should counterbalance that and keep my tire in balance, even if I lose some of my rubber. And I found a leak in my other tire. For this project, I'm gonna be using this hoopty right here. It's a little beat up, but I think it's gonna work perfect because it has big tires and it's gonna allow us to see everything going on inside the tire in real time. These are the balance beads I bought online. This seems to be what everybody is using. Now, from what I know, they're usually used in truck tires, but online it says they're actually used in all sorts of tires from motorcycles, cars, trucks, and everything in between. It's gonna be really interesting to see how the balance beads work from an inside of the tire view, especially while I'm driving. Let's do it. I got the tire all mounted on the rim. Next thing I'm gonna do is put the balance beads in. There's two ways you can put these in. You can either dump them in the tire when you're mounting the tire, or you can use this bottle that they give you to inject them into the valve stem. I'm gonna use the bottle method. I figure that's how most people would do it. I'm not really sure what these are for. Bad idea. That just ain't working. Thought they would sort of just flow in there. Oh, I think this will, oh no, it's still not working. So that was a failure. I couldn't get it in there. The instructions say I need some sort of vibrator to put on there. I don't have that kind of patience. I'm just gonna pry the tire off the rim here and dump them in right there. Perfect. I got the tire mounted back on the rim with the GoPro and the balance beads inside. This is how it looks. The next thing I wanna do before mounting the wheel back on the truck, I'm gonna just put it on the balance machine and spin it up and see how much off balance it is. If the balance beads actually work, then this tire should be somewhat in balance. I don't expect it to be perfect. We have a huge off balance here with the GoPro inside the tire. It's gonna be sort of a good indicator as whether or not these balance beads actually work before I mount the tire on the truck. For this, I'm gonna roll the GoPro while I spin it up on the balancer. I'm curious to see what the balance beads do. I did not think they were gonna work that well. It shows it's only two ounces off balance. Man, that's, that's pretty impressive. I'm just gonna spin it up one more time. If the balance beads are in fact balancing the tire out, it would be probably just slightly different every time. You know for sure the balance beads are working. Take a look at that. And now it's 1.50 and 0.5. So that means that the balance beads are working dynamically just like I thought. Every time there's a change with the weight of the tire in any certain clock position, the balance beads would counteract that change depending on how the tire is moving. I, I can't really fathom exactly how that's working in my head, but as you see, it's working. You can actually hear the balance beads inside the tire moving around. Let me get this wheel mounted to the truck. We're gonna take it for a quick drive and just see what they do. I'm just gonna take it for uh, a little bit of a drive, just slowly, see what happens. We're on the 
street now. Let's see what these balance beats do. I'm gonna jump up on the main street and see if I can go a little bit faster. straight away here I'm gonna try to get up to 50 55 oh dude come on seriously these drivers bro seriously since we just got cut off by a driver I'm gonna try this again that didn't work out because we got cut off by another driver so I'm gonna go to a different spot here where there's another straightaway the only thing is this one's really bumpy let's do it Well, that was interesting. It looks like even though we were flying through those bumps, the balance beads maintain their position in relation to the tire. And uh, I can't say the same for the camera because it looks like that centrifugal force might have ripped the camera off the rim or I'm not sure. I got the light back on. Let's open up the tire and see where the GoPro's at. Survived. It looks like, to my surprise, the balance beads, they actually work. I did not think they were gonna work for real. Those beads actually balance the tire. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm still trying to figure out in my head. The way I see it is, if the tire is off balance and it's heavier on one side, the heavy side is gonna have more centrifugal force and kind of move in that direction. So I would think that the balance beads would start to accumulate in the heavy side of the tire and make it even more off balance, but apparently not. Apparently somehow, some way they work. So if you know how they work, let me know in the comments below. For now, I'm still trying to figure out how those balance beads work. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. To my surprise and to make things even more interesting, this is a brand new tire on the same rim I just used but with no GoPro inside and no balancing beads mounted to the balancer. Check this out. Crazy.